Hello boys and girls, hope you're well. This is just a quick video of how to wire an emergency stop into a hydraulic power pack. This happened to be a sea winch one, just the one I got. But obviously with the new regulations from sea fishing, the MMO, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah we've now got to wire emergency stops into power packs so you can hit the emergency stop and that shut the power pack down. Well, I'm just going to give you the theory of how to do this. I've got found the electrical drawings for these little Honda engines and the Lonton engines are virtually all the same, all the same principle. They're ever so easy to wire emergency stop to if you know how. Well, hopefully you'll learn a bit from this and I'll show you how to do it. All right. Well, this is actually looking at the power pack itself and the motor. I would like to put it in a bit better location, but I'm a bit weak and feeble at the minute. I can't lift it. Not that I'm going to attempt to. But this is the actual, what you're looking at on this thing. Because that's, that's the oil level sensor with the yellow cable. The yellow oil level switch. And that's a little sensing unit. I think that's basically that work with the oil level sensor. So if you're rocking around a bit, little every little blip that doesn't cut out the engine. And obviously then you look here and you've got the power switch. And then that's, that cable's going to the coil. Obviously that good of that. So how that sensor work and this switch work, all that do is you see there, it's got cable coming in and the other side is an earth. All that do is when you switch that off, that make that switch and that go down to earth. Obviously that cable go there and that's going to the coil. So if you turn that off, all that do is put the coil voltage down to earth. Same as with this sensor. If that sensor switch, that go down to earth, and that's how it kill the coil and stop the engine. So all you've got to do is put the emergency stop between earth, we can put a crimp on that little terminal there, or even a crimp on that terminal there, and then pull this apart, this crimp, and put a crimp on your cable between here and here. So obviously that's part of the signal cable and that the switch go between here and one of these earths to then cut the coil out by putting the coil down to earth. So it's ever so easily done. Hello all. This is the electrical drawn for a Honda power pack. The Lonson ones are virtually all the same. Well, this is the electrical drawn. If you look, that's the coil what generate the voltage for the spark plug whilst there. Obviously that generate the spark plug and the spark, come the spark plug and then short against the earth to create the spark. The signal then go up, obviously BL, that's black, that's all black wiring. That is the on off switch. So obviously when that's open, that's on. When you turn it off, that then close go down to earth and that put the voltage down to earth and kill the voltage so then that stop firing on the spark plug. That's the sensing unit, what go along to the oil level switch. So obviously normally that's open. When the oil go low, that then close the switch, go down to earth. The sensing unit really just gone down to earth. So then that then put that through the cable that then put that coil down to earth and killing the spark plug again. So basically all you got to do is somewhere in this circuit here, where you do it, that connection or that connection, put an emergency stop between there and there and earth. That's ever so simply done, but obviously you got to choose the right emergency stop. Well, I've just done a bit of a drawing of the hydraulic power pack motor circuit. Basically, that's the voltage to the coil, obviously create the spark. Of that come down, that's your on off switch. You can see there, normally open, so you turn it off. That then make and put the voltage down to earth to stop the coil from working. Obviously then the spark plug don't work. Or you've got the oil level switch, what's sitting the sit in the tank that then make if the oil get too low go down to earth and drop the signal from the oil level sensor 
And obviously then that go down through the black cable and put the coil down to earth again. Obviously, once you put the coil down to earth, there's no basic ignition. So the spark plug obviously didn't spark and that cut out. But what you need to do is somewhere on that loop, that black cable there, is fit the Murchie stop. Whether you split that crimps in half and put another couple of crimps and join them together on one side of the Murchie stop and then put it to earth, or you just cut that cable in half and then crimp it into them wires, that's totally up to you. That all do the same thing, as long as that's connected one side of the coil on the black cable down to earth, you're right. Then we talk about emergency stops. This is the sort of emergency stop you want. Obviously, push in, and don't, don't come out, and you've got to return it to release. That's considered a safe emergency stop. Push in, that'll stay in, then you turn, and that'll come out. If you look on the side, then twist, that'll come out. This emergency stop is slightly different to what most people have. Because on a lot, lot of electrical circuits, you don't use, you don't have both normally closed and normally open. A lot, a lot of standard circuits, that's normally closed. You push the emergency stop, and that come open, and that's how a lot of safety relays work, like PILT safety relays and all other safety relays. But you've got to make sure when you buy an emergency stop, you want normally open. So basically. Inside that normally normally open switch is like that. That's normally open, so it ain't touching. So when you hit the merge stop, that then close and touch. Because you want it that configuration. So when you hit it, that close and put that coil down to earth. So make sure when you're buying a merge stop, get a normally open emergency stop. The wiring is very easy. Basically you've got a terminal top and bottom, you see there. Basically you just put your cable in there, and that come down and go onto an earth. And then you put the cable in the top, and that's the one what go to your black cable. So it's ever so easy to do. Obviously you get your, your back of your emergency stop, and there's several holes. And normally what you do is you bang that one out and put a cable gland in so obviously when you put that back on your cable gland come out of here run around the boot for any trunking off your console normally and go here and just linked in well i hope you find that useful a lot of people a lot of fishermen don't really know about electrical side of things and i'm an engineer by trade so i thought i'd try and make it a little bit easier for you well if anyone's gained any knowledge out of this then as a bonus and I ain't wasting my time. Well, thanks for watching anyway. Catch you later. Bye.